Okay, so today I want to show you how to make a Farming Valley mod pack server. So to find the mod pack, you go to Twitch. I'm going to show it to you when it loads up because it takes a while, I guess. Uh, Twitch is a bit slow, so it's not your computer. I have a good computer and it still takes a while, so you took a little bit. Um, the mod pack is Farming Valley and they have different versions. If you are familiar with it, you can choose different versions. Um, right now I'll be doing 0.9.1. So I am going to uh, push play on this real quick so that on the background while it's loading we can make the server. Okay, great. Now, to find the server files, I, if I were you, I would put Curse Forge Farming Valley. So that's what you would search. Now go to Files right here, right there, and you see this server pack right here. Uh, click on it. Okay. Um, now this right here, I would click this download file and make sure it's big. It's a big file. You see, well, not that big, but uh, decent sized because if you get a small one and it has like no mods in it it's not the right one you have to click the right link and I made this mistake for so long and I never figured out how to make a server because of that a mod pack server so I have Firefox so you go to the download section and I've downloaded this before so I'm gonna cut this to the desktop okay it's happening All right to the desktop and you can unzip it with the Windows unzipper and you don't need to download WinRAR or anything okay just clearing this out while we're waiting the next step is going to be to accept the EULA so you just make it with edit you do it with edit and notepad and you change it from false to true and then you run it but there's one more step last step I have it running right here so I'm gonna quit that quit this this is the way it looks when you do it with the default command prompt I might do a video on using other applications for command prompts. Now running, you just double click this batch file that says launch server. So it's going to make the world and it's going to take a long time. Probably even longer than it takes to load this, the, the client, the actual game. Um, so I'm going to leave it there in the background. So this is loading. The server takes longer to load than this portion right here. And the first time it does it, it does it like two times as long. So it's normal. Don't worry. Now we have to do something called port forwarding. I don't. A lot of people heard about it already. But um, what I would do is, if I were you, is I would open up the command prompt. Right. Hopefully you could open two separate ones again. So put IP config. IP config. You see it right there. IP config. And then go to default gateway. Right. And then input this IP address under default gateway in your address bar in a browser. So once again, this default gateway. And mine is this, and I probably shouldn't be showing you this. this is probably very bad for me, but oh well. I don't want to blur it out. So I put it in here. I'll change it if I have to. So. So we're logging in, and yes, I skipped the username and password. It's just a lot safer that way. So you go to virtual servers, port triggers under firewall on your modem or router. I don't know which one. Uh, it, it might be different. It might actually say uh, port forwarding, but it is not port triggering. So don't get it mixed up with that. You can watch other videos about port forwarding on your modem. This is mine. So port forwarding, you basically um, add it 
and you use the IP address that is your IPv4. So you see IPv4 192.168. This is mine, IPv4. Follow the dots. And then you put it in here and you open 25565. So for example, I would push put Minecraft 25565 to be safe, do both TCP and UDP. 192.168.0.2 see 25565 it's the default port for minecraft servers 25565 remember that okay so then you add virtual server i already have it added so i have mine right here and it'll show right here so once you're done with that um you can start the server so we don't need ip config anymore and I think it's done loading so we're gonna test the server in order to test the server uh, you add your IP address darn I X'd it out okay um, okay I recommend uh, IP location dot net I'm gonna put this in the description because this one actually works so down in the description, I'm going to post this link to find your IP address and you'll be able to see it here. So you don't have to go to your router to find it. Now, uh, copy this IP address right here and post it in here. So you're testing it from the outside um, and if it works for you, it very very likely over 80 percent chance will work for other people so you just log in right and hopefully you have premium because these servers are for premium accounts twitch is for premium accounts and we're in farming valley and it's probably going to be real slow because it's a slow mod pack and you got to fix the settings of the client, not the server. You could probably reduce the draw distance of the server. So this is it. And other people can join you and it'll be awesome. Leave a like.